On April 27th, Smithfield looked like a war zone in the aftermath of a tornado, and shell-shocked residents wondered what the future might hold. But their own resilience and a steady dose of state and federal help in local leadership, the town is clearly bouncing back one step at a time. We're making some good steps now. Uh, you start to see in town, you start to see some footings uh, being poured on new homes, and uh, we're making steps. You know, uh, we got a lot of issues to, to iron out. In the coming week, Mayor Kennedy will visit Greensburg, Kansas, where a 2007 tornado virtually wiped out the community. The idea is to see how that community rebuilt and follow a similar plan to bouncing back. I've been baptized by fire here, and I, and I need some, some guidance and some guidelines to go by and some things to look at to, to know just exactly how to to do this. Some of the new guidelines will include building codes and better organization, with much of the community debris cleared and hauled away. Some residents are beginning to make progress on building their place called home once again. We brought you the story of the Cox family who lost two homes and a family member after the April 27th tornadoes tore through the town of Smithville. They, like so many, have chose to rebuild, but a growing concern for Mayor Greg Kennedy is the number of families who are choosing to live elsewhere. What we got to do is make our community uh, impressive and, and invite people uh, to come back and put your kids in Smithville school. The Corps of Engineers is finishing up on its final cleanup effort, but it is still a long road ahead to normalcy for the folks of Smithville. It's going to be a different Smith. I mean, we can't help it. Uh, what happened on April 27th in the past now? We got to look forward and move forward. In Smithville, Paulo Salazar, WCBI News.